morning, YouTube. Welcome to Fireball Network Alert. I created this site right here, this uh, video series to bring down the fear. Because when you just think about fireballs, you think about Smallville, maybe, with Superman or Clark Kent and the fireballs in that movie. You think about some of the videos I put up and some of the videos other people put up. But the reason I created this was to bring down the fear some and to show you there is a lot of fireballs. So it's increased quite a bit um, in the last two weeks. So just watch. Okay, folks, good morning, good morning. I'm giving you the little eclipse and the two meteor showers that are in our time period right now, this season. We're going to light up the night sky in November. So let's see what it says. Staten Island says sky watchers will have the opportunity to be dazzling dazzling celestial events throughout November including two meteor showers followed by a partial lunar eclipse that will make the moon look red northern uh, Trinidad or Trey tra Red meteor showers hits its peak on Thursday December 2nd similar to the southern treads which is still active to December 2nd the peak last week there is somehow sometimes a noticeable increase in fireball activity I'm going to show you guys some fireballs. <coughs> I'm going to show you some moons. So anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 meteors per hour will streak across the sky, dark areas during the peak of the northern triads. And like many meteor showers, some start to appear after nightfall. Yeah, that's when I usually fall asleep at 3 in the morning. But the best time to view the triads will be after midnight. Yeah, it's cold and wet. Just a week later, the Leonoids... Leonoids, Leonids, will next peak on the right of on the night of November 17 and 18. So get ready, guys. The Leonids are often bright meteors with a high percentage of persistent trains. The Leonids are the best known to producing meteor storms for the years of 80, uh, 1833, 1866, 1966, 1999, and 2001. The American Meteor Society said during these outbursts. Hourly rates range from a thousand to hundred thousand meters per hour, creating some of the most mesmerizing displays in recent history. Unfortunately, an outburst like that is not anticipated this year with only 10 to 15 meters per hour. And that's like, no matter what they say, I always get 10 to 15, even um, without meteor showers. So nearly a full moon will shine on the peak night of the Leonoids, and some shooting stars will still be seen. And so how to, uh, if you're looking to view the meteor shower while the moon is in the sky, focus on areas in the sky away from the light of the moon. Okay, so then it tells you. And this is um, S-I-L-I-V-E dot com. And they have a lot of lunar stuff. So there you go. You can read that. I'll just scroll down. You can read the rest if you want. And let me show you some asteroids and some meteors that I collected in the last 30 days. Okay, get ready. Talk to you in a minute. Since the lunar eclipse coming, I figured I'd show you this little piece I made on the moon. This is the way I see the moon, folks.
I thought that was kind of nice. Yeah, we're going to get raptured, so get over it. The timing, it doesn't matter to me. I don't care if I go through seven-year tribulation or not. I'm prepared to get my head cut off, to be persecuted. The worst, I'm prepared for it. And mentally and heart, I'm prepared for it. But I'm praying and hoping for the best. Like everybody wants a revival, I'm believing for the revival. And when the asteroids start coming down, you're going to believe in the revival too. Because you're going to need to be revived. So keep watching. Here's my little asteroid video and I'll put some freaky music on. Keep it up. Keep going. Don't quit now. Welcome to the 3 a.m. Six minutes and 42 seconds. 